Farming sims really have taken over, with at least five new ones coming to PC in September alone, and possibly the most highly anticipated of them is Fay Farm. But the cosy gaming community opinion is divided on one thing, the price. Fay Farm will be available on PC and Switch on September 8th and was originally priced at £50 on both platforms. However, after some backlash about the premium price tag, Phoenix Labs have introduced a new, lower priced option on Steam. For £33.50 you can get what's now called the standard version of the game. The £50 deluxe version is still available, but includes two DLC packs to be released between December 2023 and June 2024. However, if you don't buy the deluxe version, you'll still be able to purchase those DLC packs. What does this mean for you? Well, it means if you're on the fence about forking out 50 quid on a game you might not love, you can now buy it for quite a bit less. And if you do love the game, you'll be able to purchase the extra content when it's available. Players who own the deluxe edition will get the DLC at no extra charge since they've already paid for it. Unfortunately for Switch players, the standard version is not available on Switch. A lot of people are rightly upset about this, but I do want to say that I think this decision is probably coming from Nintendo rather than Phoenix Labs. I.e. Nintendo maybe wouldn't let Phoenix Labs add the extra purchase option this close to launch. I don't know this for certain, and I'm just speculating, but please consider this possibility before you get upset with the developers. I also want to say that while many farm sims are priced around the 10 to 20 pound mark, these are usually indie games. Fay Farm has been developed by Phoenix Labs, who also made Dauntless. Now Dauntless is a pretty successful game, making Phoenix Labs kind of a big deal. That's why they're able to charge £50 for a farming sim. I also think that adding the option to buy the standard version on PC is a really nice compromise. But the really important question is, is Fay Farm worth its price tag? For full disclosure, I did receive a gifted copy of the game, which I was ecstatic about. I actually read the email offering me the game at 3am and couldn't get back to sleep as I was so excited, so please believe me when I tell you that everything I'm about to say about Fay Farm comes straight from my farming sim obsessed heart. This game is stunning. The art style, the colours, everything about it is visually appealing. It's a joy to explore the world of Azoria, and knowing I have still so much to find makes me so happy. But what can you do in Fay Farm? Well, you can do everything you can in most farming sims. Fish, catch bugs, cook, decorate and, well, farm, obviously. So why choose Fay Farm over other, potentially lower priced games? To illustrate this point, I want to briefly compare Fay Farm to a game that most of us probably paid the full £50 for, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now I'm not comparing them in terms of gameplay, although there are some similarities. They are pretty distinct from each other. What I am comparing is the feeling of both games. That sense of cosy comfort in a time when the world was turning upside down. I honestly believe that's what made ACNH so popular. That and the fact it's a bloody good game. But that feeling, I haven't really got that from any other game since, until now. Playing Fay Farm feels like coming home, grabbing a brew and getting under a blanket. It's a fun game, it's an exciting game, but in a really relaxed way. And a huge part of what sets it apart from many other farming sims is how story based it is. You actually play through the main story in chapters and I got to play the first four. I've heard a few people say that the chapters are pretty short. It's true that the first two chapters are short tutorial levels, but chapters three and four cover much more in-depth gameplay and will take longer to get through. Another thing to note is that we don't know how many chapters are in the full game. It could be 10, it could be 20, or it could even be 40. Whatever the case may be, what really matters is the quality of those chapters. And let me tell you, I enjoyed every second of the first four chapters. What makes Fay Farm so special? Like many people, I'm a huge fan of Stardew Valley, but I also know a lot of people who don't like it, and that's often because it lacks direction. In Stardew, you're just kind of left to get on with things. And that's not for everyone. Fay Farm has all the things we love about Stardew with one major addition, a solid main quest line. 
You'll never feel like you don't know what to do or where to go next. And while there are side quests and you can go off and do other things whenever you want to, you'll always have a goal to complete as part of your main quest. If you struggle to know what to do next in a game with so many activities, the main quest line will be a huge help for you. Another concern I've heard from several people is the length of the day. Currently, there's no option to alter the length of the day, and some people feel the current length is too short. However, quests are not time limited and there's no penalty whatsoever for passing out if you don't get to bed before the end of the day. That means there isn't so much pressure to get things done quickly. If you pass out in the mines, you won't lose any items or money, so it's not such a big deal. And what about combat? Doesn't that make an otherwise cosy game stressful? In my opinion, no. I'm not a huge fan of combat, but I'm not totally against it either. As the great Lisa Simpson once said, I wanted a challenge I could do, and that's what Fay Farm Combat is. It's pretty simple and not overly challenging. It's also completely gore-free, and some of the enemies are actually quite cute. But most importantly, if you run out of health and pass out, you don't lose anything. You'll simply find yourself back outside the mines. You can also use potions to repel enemies, meaning you don't actually have to engage in combat at all. Personally though, I really enjoyed that part of the game. So, is Fay Farm a perfect game? Well, no. There are definitely some areas that need improvement. The characters, for example, just don't feel as alive as some of those in other games. Many people have suggested that the problem is repeated dialogue, to which I say, you guys read the dialogue? Seriously though, it's a valid concern, although not a deal breaker for me personally, and the good news is it's something that can be worked on. The same may not be true for the next issue. You can't layer items while decorating. For example, you can't place a nice bunch of flowers onto a table. And unfortunately, the devs have confirmed that this would be a massive addition to the game, and if it ever is added, it may even have to be DLC. Understandably, a lot of people simply aren't going to want to pay for this feature, since it's one that's standard throughout many games in the genre. Another big question is how much support will the game receive post-launch? Will there be regular updates including quality of life improvements? Will there be more new content added beyond the two DLC packs already planned? And the answer is, we don't know. Devs have indicated that this depends entirely on how well the game and DLCs are received. So, should you buy Fay Farm? Well, that's up to you. If you love farming sims, especially extremely cute farming sims with intriguing stories, this may well be the game for you. But remember, you don't have to pre-order. You're not missing out or doing anything wrong if you choose to wait for full reviews. Whether you decide to purchase now or later, I have a link in the description that leads to purchase options for every platform. I won't get paid if you use my link, but it might get me more awesome opportunities to review games like this in the future. Would I have paid full price for Fay Farm? Honestly, it's highly likely, but I'd have waited for full reviews, as although I do think the game is worth the price, £50 is a lot of money and I wouldn't spend it lightly. As I've said, I've played the first four chapters and will be uploading a more gameplay based overview soon, as well as fully reviewing the game once I have access to the full game. I also plan to stream the game on Twitch post launch. You can find my Twitch channel link in the description. If you like this video, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing. As a new channel, it really helps get my content in front of the right audience. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon with more Fay Farm and other cosy games.